Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is your boy Providence. So today I'm back with for this good tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can do this Alliance Arena Stadium in Munich. Let's see some Google pictures so that we can understand what we have to do. Alliance Stadium or Arena is located in Munich. This is a pictures, <coughs> Google pictures. So let's start. Grasshopper. So this tutorial is for beginner. For beginner level, I try to, um, I try to simplify this tutorial for you guys. If you're a beginner, so let's disable and start from scratch. First of all, let's start with rectangle. In rectangle, let's put a domain. Um, here, we'll make sure that we are in ghost view that we can see put domain okay and then uh, put 20 meter for example i'm working with millimeters and negative value so in negative we help us to stay in the middle in in the middle of our center of rectangle so let's do the same here on Y so you can see our rectangle it is in the middle so let's reduce it a little bit like this what we have to do it is to give a shaft or fillet or radius on the edge let's put um, 2 meters which we can reduce on at least here okay this is it so what we are going to do next is scale so the scaling I want to use uh, the, this panel which I have used it already and I'll explain you why so simply this panel um, what I'm doing the first, I'm not scaling anything. The second, I'm scaling um, a, a little bit beyond the, the original rectangle. The third one, also the same. Uh, fourth one, I'm not scaling anything. And the last one, I'm making a half of rectangle. So let's also um, move this curve in Z direction. Move. Z direction. Sorry, this is X Z direction. Okay. Uh, so the first curve will not move. So we put zero. Second curve, let's for example say we move um six hundred. So example. Um the second one um let's um, move this uh, this line in the z direction for example let's uh, move the first one will not move second one let's move for example like thousand third one let's move three thousand and the uh, third, fourth, uh, fourth one three thousand and the last one let's move maybe eight point uh, point um, um, 2800 so and this is for example in meter height so we make sure that my data and then we put roft here once we plug it there we can see we can see that uh, we have a uh, surface so next step I uh, want you to download the plugin called plugin called angle angle any go plugin and it is a plugin which are available in food for line I'm going to link down the um, the link for downloading so I'm going to use their great 
um, they are the, the, the among the great dividers. So, what will help us is to to get a division of our surface. So, here we need to put number of v and v, u and v. So, it's for example, we put 40 and make sure this value will stay as odd number because if you don't put odd number, you will stay, they will not matching as well. So, let me show you. It's for example, this is enough. Okay, I think this is enough. Yeah, you can put any number you want, but I think this is enough. Okay, let's for example put odd number. Put for example 55. Uh, sometimes if you put an odd number there you get a seam somewhere there but let's continue like this with all with even number or uh, for odd number so make sure that you don't put uh, even number you put odd number so the next step is to find the, the um, find the mesh face is here because output we are getting mesh so what we are going to do we are going to move this point in normal direction make move so this move is going to help us to um to bulge our surface yeah so put amplitude for example let's put 100 of 150 as moving direction okay and then let's get the boundaries of each face after that we make extrude extrude point extrude extrude point so this one point we want we have is this one and the base is this one okay you can see the shape we are getting so the next step it is to take um, this uh, these shapes and turn into um, mesh so we use simple mesh because this is a build and then what we have to do, we are going to use uh, Viva Bars. This is also a plugin which are available in for uh, food for Lino. So we make sure the edge is fixed. Fixed it is zero. And then we put, for example, level three. Then after that we join the mesh. Make sure that you flatten to get one mesh and then subdivide again. Let's put preview so that we can see it clearly. So in normal direction we need to reverse or put negative yeah that's it let's put white color swatch that's it thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the tutorial See you next time and uh, make sure make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for next tutorial. So thank you so much. Bye bye. Ciao.